I am the shark. What's, what's Brian is silly. That is Burner Boy before the dreadlocks. Burner Boy before the ego. That guy has ego, by the way. Big time. Big time. There's a time he came to Nairobi, even yeah. before he became like the hot, hot sauce of town. Alikata kukula chakula kikenya. So like, <gasps> you, you have to find fufu for me. If you don't find it, I'm not eating. Oh, that's interesting. They, they had to find one. Yeah, they have. They have. <laughs> Actually, the, popu- half the population of yeah, Kilimani is Nigerian. Yeah, half Lagos, half half Abuja. <laughs> yeah, but, but it's it's all good in Kenya. We love everybody, and and that's why if you if you come to Kenya, it's very easy for you to survive. Kabisa, yeah. like tourists are always like the people are so nice. The people are so nice, and then as a Kenyan, you're like, which people are nice? But we are nice. You are Gani. You are hey, 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 let me tell you, you, you need to go to a country like Togo. <laughs> or even Nigeria. In Nigeria, when you ask for directions, you have yeah. to pay that person. That I've heard, and I thought that was crazy. Yeah, no, no, to nation center kwapi money gone. Yeah, in Nairobi, at the Afya center kwapi akieta niko free wacha niko peleke. Uh huh. Yeah, and then you have to give a little something, something. No, in Nairobi, you don't have to do that. No, in I'm Nigeria. In, in Nigeria. In Nigeria. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, give me my money. Yeah. That's Think it's a free thing, eh? But cultures are so different because mm-hmm. y- we are, you know, here, I'll just tell you, Nipale, I'm a peer kind of time. Yeah. I, I know people who just volunteer and they're just like, let me actually show you. It's right down here. Mm-hmm. Now I don't buy at all. But then like you're saying, yeah, in other places, that's a, uh, that's a service. Yeah. You've rendered to someone. So mm-hmm. it's invoice na utalipa. It's so interesting how we differ in cultures and traditions and everything. But it's true. Give you an example. Do you call your mother by, your, by her name? Absolutely not. Because you're a? Uh, Kenya, an African, African first. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're an African first. Maju, no, not Jackie. You didn't help me with my homework. No, <laughs> <what> is, <laughs> is there any culture where they call their parents by yes. name? Americans call their parents by name. Even the British. Eh? Please, our American and British listeners, or those ones who are in those areas, about Tuambieni, Tuambieni, please, if that's yeah. true, because I would be so scandalized. Um, Just yeah, don't call, don't call me, don't call me mom, call me Jackie. It's interesting because I had a friend in primary school whose mom did not like to be called like Mama Nani. You know, it's mm. it's a it, it, for us. I consider it a term of respect. Right? Hey, would I would never, mama. I would <laughs> never, yeah, she would get offended by that. Yeah. She'd say, "Call me by my name," mm-hmm. and I was always so scandalized because I've been taught, taught, taught. You t- call someone's mother Mama Nani because what do you mean? How do you even know their name, mm-hmm. much less calling them by it? Yeah. But like, yeah, t- tradition is, is very different. But we're asking you if we can now move over to religion 100% mm-hmm. or to Bakitu with our cultures and the way we were brought up. Not even brought up, the way we lived maybe, you know, 50, 60, 70 years ago. Wait, what do you think we should do? For me, it's it's tea for tricky. I think it's very hard to ask people to choose one or the other mm-hmm. because um, the white man did a number on us with religion. Mm-hmm. So asking people to leave it is near impossible. Mm-hmm. Um, however, traditions are, they're fluid. Mm-hmm. I don't think we have to keep them like set in stone. Mm-hmm. They can move with the times. Of course, there's been like, for example, harmful cultural practices that we've gotten rid of over time. Mm-hmm. It's only sour. So I think we can move with those and find something that works for us. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have to be what we were taught. It doesn't have to be what was there before. Mm-hmm. We can just find things for us now. Give you an example. Uh, That's uh, uh, somewhere in the middle. At some yeah. point in my career, I'd like to drop my name, Brian. Mm-hmm. And just go with a silly. Because uh, I have a third name. My uh, my third name is Mujukane. Mm-hmm. You see, you know, I really want to move to Mujukane. A silly Mujukane. It's yeah. nice. You're going to spices. Why do you want to do it at some point in your career? Do it now. Uh, right now, Bado, Brian, Bado. <laughs> you know, that, that, eh, Bado, you know, you know, you know, I feel like Bado a bride ko, still, yeah. you know. <laughs> it's like a cable right now. It's changed, you know, 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 you I feel like African names are beautiful and they have meaning yes. and with meaning uh if you find meaning early then identity for you becomes very clear mm-hmm. and most people to to national to exchange oh hey, my name nikona bestia nito brian george i hope he's listening to me <laughs> 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 he has two christian names yeah. and, and most uh utapata kuna culture and they have very beautiful names like uh from the luo community they have very beautiful names mm-hmm. you'd find like someone is called otwal otwal mm-hmm. it's the same hey. name twice but <laughs> you know rest in peace by the otwal uh he's a kenyan comedian but you'd find someone like miguna miguna mm-hmm. uh, gina controversial yeah, you it, know it makes you feel like you really want to meet the person and it also commands use of the tongue you 
you know, you need to yeah. put some effort into pronouncing some of these yeah. names. We should uh, definitely take them up. That's actually part of the things about, you know, culture and tradition. Because mm-hmm. you'll find we, uh, your Brian Aselli, right? Mm-hmm. It's always like, it's usually a biblical name and mm-hmm. then your traditional name. And then yeah. some people will just do away with the Brian mm-hmm. and say, Amaseli, mm-hmm. Mujukane. Yes. Because Mimi, that's my culture. Yeah, that's my culture. And I think that's what we should start embracing even more. Uh, but I've seen South Africans do it a lot. Mm. You'd find someone called Ayanda Makoti. Y- any two names, yeah. si- Simfe something. Akuna Simfe Catherine Bozi. Shufena, hey, George. Akuna, hey, 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 Akuna, yeah. No, they don't do that. <laughs> and I believe that it ties on to the people who you are named after. Yeah. And we even carry some traits. For example, um, not to brag, mm-hmm. <laughs> not to brag, <laughs> but the person called Aseli had a lot of money. Ah, hey, well. Uh, it's not reflecting yet. Well, but, uh, well. Kuna deal nangoje even. <laughs> and then you can <laughs> drop <laughs> the Brian. <laughs> you're not Aseli for real. Kuna deal nangoje even. Yale hafu tutoda vili itakuwa. Udrop your Brian. Mm, yeah. <laughs> 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 